Robert here. Um, this is my regular installment of uh, Floss Tube Fridays. I have quite a bit to show you, share with you, whatever. Um, it has been a crazy, crazy week uh, again. I don't know why, but it has. So, I didn't think I got that much done, but when I was uh, kind of compiling my notes and looking at things, I actually did a fair amount of stuff, um, especially for the amount of time I didn't have to stitch that I thought, but whatever, without further ado, um, we'll get into it. So, I think we'll start with tag. I put that down as last on my list, but I think I'm going to start out with a tag. It's going to be kind of like a question answer type deal because everybody seems to enjoy those, I think. Sorry, I dropped my pencil. I'm trying to get my pencil. Dropped it. So, um, <clears throat> I got this from Trisha, the Left Handed Stitcher's blog. I'll link it below. Um, the tag is actually by Covered in Cat Hair from August um, 22nd, 2016, and it's called the Whip Tag. Um, so, first question, when it comes to putting a project to get together, do you start with the pattern or the fabric? Um, I generally start with the pattern. So, um, I'll be online or I'll be at the, I don't know, Joann's or wherever it is and come across a pattern or going through like my grandmother's stuff like that pile right here has a lot of patterns in it that um i got from my grandmother um i also have some over that direction in my closet um that i've actually liked and so i put them over there so hopefully i can start them soon ish maybe not They've been over there for, I don't know, probably two or three years. Um, I haven't fully gone through all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, so I typically start with a pattern. I find something that I like. Um, and then a lot of times I deviate from what is called for, for the fabric or whatever. Um, because I'm a creative mind kind of person. And so I uh, kind of creatively see oh, this will look really good on this, or this will look really good on this. Um, I haven't tried hand-dyed fabrics. Um, I would like to. They're just uh, a little out of my price range that I am comfortable in right now. Um, I would like to buy some, um, especially for, uh, I got like a hay, actually several hades. Uh, that are freebies, like, I don't know, two or three Hades uh, that were freebies. I've got a Mir Mirabilia that was a freebie uh, pattern online. Um, and I think on those I want to use hand-dyed fabrics. Um, and then, yeah, so I usually start with the pattern, and then I go from there. Um, do you ever find yourself limiting or denying yourself a new start because of your current number of whips no I don't let the amount of whips that I have currently going on dictate whether or not I start something new reason being because I get bored and if I put those limits on myself then I will lose my stitchy bug and I don't want to lose my stitchy bug so I bounce from project to project to project to project and then you know, circle back around again. There's no real rhyme or reason or rotation. It's just whatever I feel like stitching on, that's what I stitch on. Um, is there any designer or style of pattern that you love the designs but hate the process of stitching on them? Um, hmm. There's not really a designer that I have discovered so far that I don't like stitching on. Um, I would say the style of pattern that I don't like to stitch on, but I like the patterns. 
it, or love the designs is anything that uses quarter stitches or um, yeah I guess quarter stitches um, because I hate quarter stitches I don't care if it's on my even weave or linen or Ada or whatever I just hate quarter stitches to me it doesn't look finished um, and I don't like the way it looks um, when I'm doing it when other people are doing it and they're showing it and then you know it looks beautiful but when I do it it's like a psychological thing whatever um, so I don't like anything with quarter stitches so if it's something that has or calls for quarter stitches um, I will convert those stitches to full stitches um, if it's easily done because sometimes I can take a quarter stitch and make it a full stitch but sometimes that looks weird so then I have to delete the whole stitch so it just depends um, sometimes I find that because of the quarter stitches um, I just won't do that project um, if it's too complicated or hard to figure out how to incorporate full stitches for that um let's see what do you use if anything to keep track of your current whips and or future starts as of right now nothing um, I'm kind of free-flowing loosey-goosey like whatever happens happens and blah 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 um, in my haul, I will show my current plans to try to keep track of my whips and how much time I spend on them. Um, I'm not going to start that this month. Probably next month, uh, June. Um, anyway, as of right now, nothing. So if I forget whips, whatever. They'll sit wherever I put them until I come across them again. Um, then the last one, yes, last one, if you could steal any floss tuber's current whip or past project, which one would it be and why? I should have done my homework because the current pattern that I, or project that I really want to do is Mirabilia's, um, I think it's Christmas in London, or London Christmas, something like that. It's very pretty, um, on Stitch Mania, and there was a picture, somebody just finished it, I think they started it, I think she said a year ago, um, and just finished it today. Oh my goodness, um, on 123stitch.com, um, I saw, that's where I first saw London Christmas, or Christmas in London, whatever it's called, by um, Nora Corbett and Mirabilia. And I fell in love. I loved that pattern. Um, when I saw the lady today post in Stitch Mania that she finished it today, holy moly, that pattern is beautiful, beyond words, beautiful. Um, the picture on 123 Stitch and several other pictures that I found on other uh, retailers and stuff online, oh my goodness, they just do not do that pattern just justice. Um, and I mean, I bet it's even, even more beautiful in person, but um, how she took the picture, you could see the sparkles on all of the gems and the beads and the treasures and whatever else, and I, oh my god. As soon as I saw that, like, intense love for that pattern was born, um, even more <laughs> than before. Um, so, with that said, what one from any floss tuber, current whip or past project would I steal? Um, because I can't remember, I saw somebody on floss tube um, stitching London Christmas, or Christmas in London, whatever it's called. Um, but I can't remember who it was. So. I would have to say... Let me look it up, because I just saw... Um, the other day. Sorry. 
the project I would steal is Sleepy Hollow by Glendon Place from Gem Stitch. Um, I don't think she started it yet um, as of April 2017. Um, April 23rd, that is. Um, but she had one called Sleepy Hollow by Glendon Place. I'll insert a picture here. And that is a whip that I want to steal. And the reason is it's such an amazing project. Um, and then the other one that she was doing that I really would like to steal as well is uh, Tulip Pixie. That one's pretty. Um, so that's Gem Stitch. I will link her below. Um, go check her out. Awesome video. Uh, awesome project. Um, anyway, that is all uh, for those. So, let's see. Mark off tag. Oops. Next. Next, next, next. Um, just real quick, this is not stitchy related, but um, for those of you that like Bluetooth headsets, and I keep messing with that thing, that like Bluetooth headsets, I need one for work um, just because it makes it easier to be hands-free and I don't have to be attached via cord or anything, um, would be, uh, I would recommend Amazon, and I'm going to link it below. Um, I got it. It's by Mopow. So Mopow, um, it is their JAWS Bluetooth headset uh, version... 4.1 model number MBH25. Um, I'll link it below. I got it on Amazon.com. Um, I know it's not stitchy related, but when I find a really good project or product, I feel like I need to pass it along to somebody else. Um, it's awesome. It was uh, 1999 or 1998, something like that. Um, and then if you get $35 or more. Um, you can have the free shipping option. I wanted it quickly, so I opted for $11 shipping, I think it was, for two days. Um, because if that was the only thing that I had ordered. Um, anyway, so that's not Stitchy related. I'm going to link it below. Um, the link is for my associate, uh, Amazon Associates link. So if you click on it and you decide to buy it, I'll get a cut of the proceeds um, if you don't but you still buy something using that link I'll get a cut of the proceeds um, I just feel like I have to make that little disclaimer so anyway so the headset uh, Mopow uh, Jaws version 4.1 um, awesome headset I've been using it since yesterday I took it off the charger yesterday morning uh, at like 11 a.m. I work late, so uh, a lot of times I'll sleep later. So I took it off the headset at like, I don't know, it was like 11 a.m. Um, yesterday morning, and it still was saying that I had like 65% charge left. So amazing, I've used it, watched floss tube videos. Um, it does come in handy for floss tube, so I mean it kind of ties in with with floss tube. Um, I watch floss tube a lot on my uh, cell phone. So um, a lot of times I'll put it on on my cell phone and as I'm stitching, you know, I got my little earbud in my ear and stitch, 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 listen to you guys. And, you know, every once in a while I'll glance at my phone, um, see what's going on. Or um, I can connect it to my MacBook um, if I'm watching videos on there. And uh, again, you know, don't have to be wired in to anything. Um, anyway, so that's awesome. Um, just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, one other side note that's not stitchy related. Sorry if I bump you guys. Um, I go through battery like crazy. So I purchased this. You probably won't be able to see that. Ooh, look at my nasty nail. Um, it's a battery pack. You can't see the blue lights here, but, um, it's a battery pack and it's got 
I forgot. 15,600 milliamp hour. Um, as far as I know, it's not available on online. Uh, actually, it might be. Microcenter.com. Um, possibly. So I'll link them below. Uh, 20 bucks got me this size. Um, but it's got two ports. One is 1.0, the other is 2.4. Um, it's got a flashlight on the end. Power button is here that you probably can't see because it's being washed out. Whatever. Um, and then there's the charge port. So you can charge Amazon, or Amazon. You can charge Android, iPhone, all of that kind of stuff. Um, iPads. Um, I use it and I can usually get, oh God, I don't know, four or five, six charges, uh, onto my cell phone, um, my iPhone at a one charge, um, uh, before I feel like I need to plug it in and charge it. So I'll link them below. Um, I don't get any cuts from them. Um, also this, even though I'm an Amazon affiliate, um, and that's going to be my Amazon affiliate link. I think I called it associates link affiliate link. Um, and I'll get a cut of the proceeds. I paid for this out of my money, paid for the charger out of my money. So just a little quick disclaimer, I was not paid to advertise these products, but I feel like I need to share them because they're amazing. Um, anyway, so that's enough of non stitchy crap. Pardon my French. Anyway, so, um, whips, uh, Ming orchids. So whips this week is kind of weird because of, uh, start of mania. And I decided all of a sudden that I was going to participate. Um, so I don't have a lot of work on my current whips from last week, uh, with the exception of a couple of them. Um, Ming orchids didn't work on last week. Ireland sampler did not work on last week. Uh, Wizard of Oz, I do have some project, or project, progress. I don't have it on the Q-snap again this week because I took it off. Um, I stitched on it for Garrett's birthday, the coffee stitcher, um, which was last Friday. So I stitched on it for his birthday. And here is where I have gotten to. So, I got a little bit of her face done right here. Um, a little bit of her hair, a little bit more of her hair, I should say. And a little bit of the sky right here. So that is all that I have done. This is all page two, so I'm, oh God, still a long way away from page two. But as a lot of you kindly point out in my comment section and I so greatly appreciate it because sometimes I get hung up on I'm not making any progress um it's not a job it's you know it's fun it's it's my hobby so whatever I can get done on it is beautiful um it's not for anybody's in particular's birthday Christmas none of that kind of stuff so I have a long while to work on it and get some good progress on it. So I did get some really great pro progress from last week. So um, I shouldn't complain. So there's that uh, Wizard of Oz. Ooh, my needle minder keeps clicking. Uh, the Fairy Queen. Um, I did very little. Um, I don't even know if you're going to be able to tell. Still on the ooh, on the uh, Q snap because I was working on it. Um, I did a little bit more of her hair and a little bit of her, uh, a little bit more of her wing. Um, but she's coming along. I can't wait to start getting like her face and her dress and stuff um, for it to actually take shape. Um, I forgot to mention Harry Potter is on white uh, even weave by. Um, DMC Charles Craft, I believe. I believe it was DMC Charles Craft. Um, Queen Fairy is on uh, Even Weave Mushroom by MCG. Um, 
Now, even though I had such a bad experience with their linen, um, I seem to have gotten a really good uh, even weave here. It seems to be even this way and this way. So, knock on wood, I'm not going to complain. Uh, but it's in the color mushroom, and she's the fairy queen, and she's got a lot of mushrooms. Like, the final piece will have a lot of mushrooms all around her feet. So, I figured it was only fitting to put her on mushroom. Um, because a lot of her colors are going to be muted. Um, and then the bright colors of her dress will just pop off of that mushroom color. So there is that. Uh, Baby Woodland. Um, I did a little bit. Not a whole lot um, on this one again. So this was, was a kit. Um, if you remember, it came as a kit. But I didn't use any of the threads that they sent with it or the fabric because... I don't like that. So here is where I am at. So I got more of the owl done. Uh, and that's all I've stitched on is, is the owl. So I got about half of his, his body done. Need to go in, do his eyes, and the other half of his body and his other wing over here. Um, and his little beak. And then uh, he'll be done, except for back stitching. But I'm not going to do that till I get these stripes in there so that is coming along very very nicely uh sweet dreams i didn't work on and rainbow sal i didn't work on now some of you may be thinking well gee robert that's only three projects that you've only worked on well some of you might say that some of you might say oh it's just a hobby don't worry about it don't stress out um however the reason is I started two things for Mania, and my original thinking, and I know I didn't tell you guys this, uh, I put it on the Stitch Mania Facebook group, um, my original thought process was I was going to start a new project every two days. However, I have since modified, which I said I would um, probably modify if I decided to change my plans and how I'm doing it and whatever. I have since modified it and hopefully that's okay so please don't come at me with pitchforks and buckets of tar and feathers and whatever. My new plan is to do at least one new start every week starting on Monday. So because Monday, last Monday, like this past Monday, was May 1st Every Monday for May, I want to have at least one new start. Now, with that said, I am ahead of the game with my new kind of guidelines that I'm kind of following, trying to follow, uh, because I still want to do some work on some of these other things. Um, and 15 new starts is too much. Um, one every other day is too much for my work schedule. Um, but with, like I said, with that said, I am ahead of the game a little bit. Um, I did, with my new schedule, I'm ahead of the game. I started one called Harry Potter Mini Characters. And I posted a picture of this on Mania. Um, I also, well, that's part of haul, whatever. Um, so, it's, I'll insert a picture here. Of what, of what this looks like. And here is where I've gotten to. So I'm working on Gryffindor, uh, the Griffin, up here. Um, I actually got a lot done on May 1st. So that was a really fantastic start, but I've kind of screeched to a halt. I did a little bit more since then. Um, but, so there's that. Um, the pattern was from Stitch Line Shop on Etsy. I'll link them below. Then, I need to take this out of here because I want to show it in my, my haul because I have some haul this week. Anyway, forgot about it. So there's that. So that is called Harry Potter Mini Characters. Then I started, actually last night when I got home, I started this. 
and it's called In This House Harry Potter. And it's just a bunch of words, insert picture here. So it's just a bunch of words, and so I got in the, and started on the I. Um, so that's awesome. Um, I'm looking forward to doing that, but that's going to be awesome. And I also got that from Stitch Line Shop on Etsy. Um, she had a, a deal, I'm assuming it's a she, um, she had a deal, um, buy one, get one free, so... I bought the mini characters one, and then I got the in this house for free, which was awesome. Um, then I think I'm gonna do my gift. I did get a gift. I received a gift, which is awesome. You guys don't have to do that, but that is amazing. She is awesome. So it came in here. Don't want to show you her information. But if you haven't seen my first video, go back and see my first video. Um, she wrote me a beautiful letter. Oh, like a little letter. But in my very first video, I talked about... Because I've got Ming Orchids. I got the Ming Orchids pattern. Um, and in that, when you open the, the little cover here, there were two... So there was Ming Orchids, Ming Peonies, then there was an Imperial Dragon, and an Imperial Phoenix. Um, you might remember that Janice um, sent me Imperial Dragon, which is awesome. My Chinese Zodiac is the Imperial Dragon. Um, but this lovely lady, hopefully it's okay, I forgot to ask. Um, I'm assuming so, because she wrote how to pronounce her name in her letter so hello i got it actually today i think um so this was lynn i need to reference your letter lynn wilches uh wilches hopefully that's correct and i didn't butcher it um but from lynn she sent me ming orchids because she had a copy um that she wasn't using that I believe she said somebody sent to her so she had a copy of Ming Orchids but she also had Ming Peonies so I now have the complete set of the Ming so I got the Ming Orchid Ming Peonies um, now I just need um, Imperial uh, shoot forgot uh imperial phoenix that's what it is so now i just need the imperial phoenix and i'll have the complete four sets uh the complete four sets that that i want um because now this is complete so now i just need imperial phoenix and i think serendipity's website still has it maybe i'm not sure but um that's just awesome thank you so much lynn um this will go to great use. Um, I am looking forward to having both the Ming peonies and the Ming uh, orchids stitched up uh, soon, hopefully. Um, hopefully I can get back to stitching the Ming orchids. I just, like I said, with mania and then the crazy past couple of weeks, I just haven't had a, a chance to stitch on everything that I had going on. So there's those. So thank you to uh, Janice for the, and I already said that in her video, for the Imperial Dragon, and then thank you, Lynn, for um, Ming Peonies and Ming Orchids. Um, so next is Hall. So I got a bunch of stuff. Um, oh, so back to the tag. So the London Christmas or Christmas in London or whatever it's called by Mirabilia. Mirabilia um, I wanted to see how much it would cost to kit the whole thing up and get it all ordered from 123stitch.com because um, it's going to cost the same for the DMC flosses as it will if, if I went to Joann's or Michael's or whatever. Holy moly. 
is all I can say. I need to save my pennies because to kit the whole thing up, it is going to cost over a hundred bucks for that entire uh, pattern. And I think one, two, three stitch um, did not have the called for fabric because I, on that one, I do want to do it on the called for um, fabric, but they, they didn't have the called for fabric. So when I put everything into my cart, all the DMC flosses, all of the beads, all of the Krynik, um, and then the treasures, um, it was like 98 something, um, after shipping, like I about died. I quite literally about had a heart attack. So I quickly removed everything and added the, um, Christmas in London to my wish list, um, of patterns that I want to buy and my list is growing quickly. I think at last count, I think I have 50 patterns maybe on there, give or take. I can't remember. Um, dangerous hole to be in. So with that said, so my haul, I've bought a few things. I got the sulky thread um, and Hopefully this is the right one. I didn't realize it came in two different things. I'm assuming it was just size. I bought the bigger one of the Sulky, and I got it in red. You might have seen it on um, my Harry Potter mini characters. Um, I started doing it. Holy cow. Like, this is time consuming. Just that little bit that I did on there took me about an hour to do. Like, just crazy. Um, so there's that. So I got that sulky thread thanks to your guys' suggestions. Then when I saw that it was taking so long, I went and I got my pen. And it's a double-sided Dritz pen. One side is called Mark Be Gone, which is water-soluble ink, and that's the blue side. And then the other side is uh, air and water-soluble ink, which is the disappearing ink, and that's the purple side. Um, it does disappear. Surprisingly, um, I looked at the line that I marked on there and it's already disappearing, which is crazy. Um, but I'm having a hard time getting it to line up exactly with, um, my even weave. Um, not, not line up exactly. That's not the correct term. When I'm marking it, I have a hard time getting it like exactly on that, that hole because it'll hit a bump of fabric or, um, you know, it hits the little, the cross grain. So if I'm going like right here above this piece of fabric and, you know, in between those and I hit this, then all of a sudden, like the line spreads out, it seems. Um, anyway, whatever. That's neither here nor there. So I got that. Not a big deal. Um, I actually really enjoy using it, um, surprisingly. Um, it is quite a bit quicker than using the sulky threads. Then I bought this because I saw on, I think it was Stitch Mania, um, somebody had posted a complete, uh, uh, I can't talk, a completed, um, project that they did for baby booties with, uh, a free pattern called I Donut Care. Um, so it's like I, and then a picture of a donut and then care. And they stitched it, on, stitched it on baby booties. Well, I got this um, baby bib because I thought it would look really cute stitched down there. Now, the issue with this is it is um, supposed to be 14 count. 14 count. Um, the holes are huge on this thing. So, I started stitching it with... Um, three strands of DMC and it still seems like it's not quite sitting correctly. And I mean, I haven't even done a whole bunch. I've only, woo, that's, whoa, I almost fell. Did you see that? So look how big those holes are. It's ridiculous. Um, 
oh, I can't get it to focus quite right. But look at that. I mean, even with three strands, it's not really sitting quite right. So I need to play with it. I might need to do six strands. Who knows? Um, to get it to sit how I want it to for that uh, I do not, do not care pattern. But this one also came with a pattern. I don't want to show the chart. But it's uh, like three monkeys. And so I might stitch that on something else. So there's that. Um, that'll be for my little nephew when he's born. If I get it stitched, if I can figure it out. Um, so then this. This is what I was talking about in the tag um, when I talked about keeping track of my current whips. So I found this little journal. Actually, it's not little. It's quite big journal and I loved it and it was on I think it was on clearance or something at Walmart um, so I had to have it. it has the little ribbon deal you know it's got lines of papers so I can draw I can doodle I can write so I'm thinking starting June I will start um, tracking my works in progress my whips so I can have a running record of what I work on when and how and why and blah 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 so then next I bought these today because they were actually pretty cheap from um, Joann's uh, these Darcy floss uh, and needle craft organizers I got two of them um, and they come with a hundred bobbins, which is amazing. So it came with a hundred bobbins. And then a little chart so I can write what is what and where and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I got those today, which is awesome because way back when, and I got this at Michael's, and I think it's also by Darcy. I could be wrong. I don't know. It doesn't say. But I got this one. When I got when I uh, kitted up my um, Christmas stocking, and when I bought this one, it did not come with the bobbin, so I had to bobbin my <clears throat> excuse me, I had to bobbin my or buy my own bobbins so I could bobbin all my threads, and then to organize it, it didn't have that little handy paper. Um, I just left the little uh, UPC that shows the color number. Um, and then I, you know, organized it that way. So there's that. Um, and when I got this, because it didn't have the bobbins, um, I would have had bought my little bobbinator that, uh, you know, you just kind of sit. I guess it sits like this. So you just set it on the edge of the thing and then you can bobbin your threads. Um, so there's that. And what's funny is I had a whole bunch of needles in here, and I didn't realize that I had those. Um, so I've been buying needles like crazy. I mean, I guess you can never have too many needles. You can never have too many. So, um, and then in this one, I have a few uh, extra things. I got uh, pearl cottons because I, pearl cottons, and then I've got 310 DMC that I didn't bobbinate because it's not for this project. Um, I was working on black work designs. Oh, I don't even know what it was called, but it was this great big huge thing um, that I was working on. So I bought all the stuff for it, and now I can't find my copy of the pattern that I printed off, so I need to go and print it off again. Um, anyway, I think it was a free pattern anyway, but then... Holy moly, the checkout stand at Joann's is a dangerous place to be because I came across this Just Cross Stitch magazine with 25 uh, included uh, designs, and I loved this mermaid one on the front. I didn't kit it up. I was good, and I resisted the urge, but I bought it because of this pattern. So, there's that. Then... Stash and load. 
is a dangerous place to be <laughs> because people like me go crazy. Now, I did get fantastic prices on all of this stuff. So, I bought a set of 12 different small Christmas ornament type things. Um, I think I only paid three bucks, three bucks or something. I don't know. But, so there's 12 of those. So I bought those. They came in. Beautiful. Awesome. Amazing. Couldn't be happier with that. So, got that on stash and load on Facebook. Then, I'm trying to keep everything organized here. Then I bought this on stash and load on Facebook. It is a butternut road pattern. I paid uh, nine bucks for it. Oh my god, when I saw it, I had to have it. It reminds me of a Mirabilia, but a Native American version. So she is called, what is she called? Is it written? Earth Dancer. Sorry, it's right there. She is called Earth Dancer. Beautiful. She's got the dream catcher. And she's dancing around. Um, and then some trees and things. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, one question for you guys, because you guys might have an answer. Um, looking at the pattern, it calls for... Oh, never mind. It already says... But you guys could probably tell me where to get them. Um, these little strips right here are, are ultra suede. So it calls for specialty threads from Rainbow Gallery. Uh, two, ultra <laughs> two ultra suedes. Bravo multicolored thread and whisper thread. Um... So if you guys could tell me in the comments below where to find those, that would be amazing. Um, the rest is DMC and then Mill Hill beads, um, which are easy to find. I can find the Mill Hill beads, but the Rainbow Gallery, I've never heard of it, so I don't know where to get it. Um, and if nothing else, I definitely want the uh, Ultra Suede, so... Um, the fringe on her dress can look like fringe, like it's supposed to. Because if I use DMC or something else, um, it's just not going to look right. So I bought that. That was a beautiful find. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I was ecstatic to find it. Then, couldn't just stop there. Found something else. Um, look at this. How beautiful is that? Um, it's called The School Bus by P. Buckley Moss. Um, pattern is by, um, June Grigg Designs. Um, And it was Leaflet 129, limited edition. Um, I was trying to see if it had a copyright date. Here it is, 1994. Um, but there, there, that is. The school bus. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, one thing I wish our designs today would do is include this beautiful, um, the hows, whys, and whats of cross-stitching, because that is going to be very helpful when I go to stitch, not only this, but a lot of other things. Um, it talks about the types of fabric, so ADA, and then the different counts, um, how many strands you should use, what size fabric to buy, um, all of that. So, I think we need to start doing this on all of our designs because that would be quite helpful. 
Um, just my opinion. So I got that. Then, last, but certainly not least, for my haul is something that I created and have up on my Etsy shop. Um, I've recently acquired um, a cross-stitch um, software for my computer um, so I can make cross-stitch patterns. Um, I can do them off of photos, I can do them um, freehand, whatever. So I came across a picture. I absolutely love Lady Gaga. And I also really love Marilyn Monroe. I came across this picture of Lady Gaga. Um, I believe it was from the Met Gala. Um, I could be wrong. Came across it on a Google search. I love, 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 love this photo of her. So classy. Very Marilyn-esque with the hair, um, and then the v-neck on her dress. Beautiful. So I turned it into a pattern. So, I haven't started stitching it, but I will, and you will see it next week, because I have it all kitted up. I am ready to stitch it. Start stitching it. So that's haul. That's it. That's all I have. So, I hope you guys have a fabulous stitchy week, and I will see you all next week for FlossTube. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great stitchy week. Bye.